Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Secretary Schultz. Good morning. I have a very brief statement to read here, and then I'm going to have to depart, and the Secretary of State is going to take some of your, your questions here with regard to this uh, event. I've just concluded a meeting with the Joint Congressional Leadership, and I'm pleased to announce that there's a general agreement among us to go forward with a renewed diplomatic initiative in Central America along the lines of the peace plan prepared in cooperation with the Speaker and the Joint Congressional Leadership. Accordingly, I've instructed the Secretary of State to transmit that document to the leaders of the five Central American countries who are meeting in Guatemala City tomorrow with a request that these views should be taken into account in their deliberations. As I said at Ellis Island several months ago, this administration has always supported regional diplomatic initiatives aimed at peace and democracy. The aspirations of our Central American neighbors, the democratic resistance in Nicaragua, and the Nicaraguan people are one and the same. The establishment of genuinely democratic systems throughout the, the region with the fully guaranteed liberties of free assembly, free speech, free press, and the simple principle of self-determination. I applaud this bipartisan effort in Congress, and I express the hope that it will produce a peaceful resolution to the conflict in Nicaragua. I urge other nations of the world to join in the support of this effort and refrain from activities that would jeopardize it. Mr. President, you know? why don't you put them in our trust with Sandinistas and sit down at the bargaining table with them? Do you trust them to live up to their end of the deal, sir? You so wanted him to say, I'll give you an answer. You still what want happens if okay. the Sandinistas okay. disagree, if they don't take you up on it? What happens then, sir? Are you glad the hearings are over? Are you glad the hearings are over? How's your nose? When will you answer questions, Mr. President? Are you prepared? When will you answer questions? Mr. Let's close the We're going to be over here in Oregon. I said that the press. Let's go to the top and get some draft pictures and so forth. Pete, you want to have to go up there? Yeah, it's a She's going to leave my hands. This is right to the middle. Got like a gap. Okay. Do you want, wait, Fed, why don't you get on the seat? I missed her. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you all look this way? Thank you very much. 
Thank you all very much. That concludes the photo session. Thank you. Bob, it means you. Which way out? Same door you came in. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. <coughs> Well, it's a great pleasure to have you here and to have some of you here again. And uh, I know you've heard the statement that I made in the press. This is kind of marks a new achievement here in, in our government. And again, this kind of bipartisan approach to a negotiation peace settlement. And I want you to know, however, that we, as you know, we have our problems with the Congress with regard to aid to the freedom fighters. And we are not going to uh, retreat from that. The agreement is based on if the ceasefire comes and the negotiations get out of their way, that there will be humanitarian aid. In other words, uh, just as the Sandinista army is not going to disappear on a ceasefire, we know that the Conference have to remain together as, a, uh, as an army and uh, be able to exist until we know the solution. And if it should be a failure, why, then I will be just as eager as I've always been to have the Congress provide military help for the freedom fighters. So, you having heard that, we believe that with the other democratic countries in this Guatemala meeting that is going on, this probably is the best opportunity, and I want to commend all of you because now what you have done in this this unity, I think, is going to make it uh, much more possible uh, to get the kind of discussions that, uh, that uh, we've been seeking for so long. And uh, now I'd like to hear from you and about your, your plans. We're very encouraged by all of you and what you've achieved. I left George there, as you know, to take questions. <laughs> he threw me to the world. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to be bleeding too much. 